why is breast cancer detection important we all know that the incidence of breast cancer is on rise it is on rise all over the world and also in our country in our country it is estimated that one in 28 women would develop this disease sometime in their life unfortunately in our country about 48% of breast cancer occurs in women who are young who are less than 50 years of age and hence knowing about this disease is extremely important and that is what could save lives bringing awareness is what could save lives now though the magnitude of breast cancer seems very huge the number of cases are more yet it is a very treatable disease and why i say it is treatable because breast cancer is one of the few cancers when detected early and treated appropriately and promptly we can have almost complete cure in women so the key factor here is early diagnosis and hence detection of breast cancer early is extremely extremely important and that is the only way we could save lives that is the only way a woman can <clears throat> come out successfully out of this disease females of what age should take detection of breast cancer seriously so breast cancer as i said um it can occur it typically occurs between 40 to 70 years of age but this is only a general indicator in our country like i said there's significant number of women who develop this disease in their 20s and 30s and we have also seen women in their 80s and 90s who develop this disease so everybody who is 20 years and above should know about this disease and start detecting and how do you do how do you detect the disease early is by doing breast self examination where every woman we would recommend who is 20 years and above please do breast self examination once in a month mahine mein ek baar aap khud aap aapke breast check kar sakte ho sari mahilaye jo 20 saal ki umar se zyada hai mahine mein ek baar ye test zarur kijiye बहुत आसान है और आसानी से आप सीख सकते हो और खुद ही अपना ब्रेस्ट एग्जामिन कर सकते हो और जो भी महिला है 40 इयर्स से अबाव है 40 साल के ऊपर है उनको आ, साल में एक बार मैमोग्राम टेस्ट जरूर करवाना चाहिए मैमोग्राम जो है वो एक ब्रेस्ट का एक तरीके का एक्सरे होता है जिस जिस जिससे हमें छोटी सी छोटी गाठ जो ब्रेस्ट में आ सकती है वो इजीली डिटेक्ट हो सकता है तो बाय द टाइम वी फील अ लंप इन द ब्रेस्ट इट इज बिग इनफ एंड मैमोग्राम कैन डिटेक्ट अ लंप व्हिच इज इवन स्मॉलर देन इट इज फेल्ट सो दैट इज द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ मैमोग्राम सो सारी महिलाएं 20 इयर्स एंड अबव महीने में एक बार ब्रेस्ट सेल्फ एग्जामिनेशन करिए और जो 40 इयर्स से अबव है साल में एक बार मैमोग्राम जरूर कीजिए और जब आप सेल्फ एग्जामिनेशन करते हो क्या देखना चाहिए ये देखना है आपको कि क्या ब्रेस्ट में गांठ है या अंडर आर्म रीजन में गांठ है और ये याद रखना चाहिए कई बार ये गांठ जो स्टार्ट होता है ब्रेस्ट में उसमें कोई दर्द नहीं रहता है ये बहुत कंफ्यूजिंग हो सकता है लेडीज को क्योंकि दर्द नहीं है यानी कैंसर नहीं है या सीरियस नहीं है ऐसा नहीं होता है जो भी गांठ हो या ब्रेस्ट में हो या अंडर आर्म रीजन में हो उसमें दर्द हो या नहीं हो आपको तुरंत जा, जाके जांच करवाना चाहिए सेकंड थिंग यू कैन सी सम स्किन चेंजेस नॉर्मली द स्किन ओवर द ब्रेस्ट इज वेरी स्मूथ बट समाइम्स यू मे फील इट इज पुल्ड इन साइड इसे खिंचा हुआ लग सकता है या उसपे रैशेज हो सकते हैं उसमें कलर चेंज हो सकता है ऐसे हुआ तो भी आपको तुरंत डॉक्टर के पास जाना चाहिए और थर्ड तीसरी बात जो है वो है निपल चेंजेस नॉर्मली निपल आर पॉइंटिंग आउटवर्ड्स बट समाइम्स इट कैन चेंज इट कैन बिकम क्रुकेड और इट कैन बी पुल्ड इन साइड वॉट वी कॉल इज इनवर्शन ऑफ द निपल और समटाइम्स देर मे बी सम काइंड ऑफ वूड ऑन द निपल और समटाइम्स इवन डिस्चार्ज कमिंग आउट ऑफ द निपल अगर आप ये कोई बदलाव आपके ब्रेस्ट में देखते हैं 
जब आप ब्रेस्ट सेल्फ एग्जामिनेशन करते हो तो आपको बगैर टाइम वेस्ट किए तुरंत डॉक्टर के पास जाना है और खुद का जांच कराना चाहिए If a woman is hitting menopause, is she more prone to breast cancer? Breast cancer is known to be a disease of post-menopause. <clears throat> But like I said, in India, about forty-eight percent of women who develop this disease are less than fifty years. That is, they are very often pre-menopausal. Yes, but menopause is a time when a lot of diseases can happen, and also breast cancer. Certainly, women. in the menopausal age group should certainly be very very careful as also women who are in the other age groups what are the different ways to detect breast cancer so how do you detect breast cancer is what there is something called as triple assessment when a person comes to us there are three things that are very important in this one is examination by a trained doctor get yourself thoroughly examined second is using uh, uh, imaging techniques that is either using mammogram or sonomammogram or breast mri as it is uh, prescribed according to the age of the lady or third thing is doing certain kind of a biopsy that means we put a needle into the lump or the the abnormality take out little little tissue from it and we study under the microscope what we call as biopsy you know so these are the three methods by which we can detect the disease we can come to a diagnosis but for women who are having no symptoms they can uh, they should do a self examination and a mammogram regularly and if something is detected on it then a biopsy would become mandatory do women only in metros get breast cancer wow that's a wonderful question well the answer to is yes and no yes because it is more prevalent in women who are urban because it is basically a lifestyle related disease so it is more common in the urban areas but it's also true that women in the rural setup can also develop this disease like i said in the urban setup one in 28 women is likely to develop this disease whereas in the rural setup one in 80 women is likely to develop this disease in their lifetime so yes it is more common in the cities in the urban setup but it doesn't mean that it does not happen in the rural set even in the women from rural can also develop this disease if there has been a history of breast cancer in my family would i also get it yeah that's a good question <clears throat> and this is a question which is very often asked okay so about 5 to 10% of breast cancer runs in the family that means if we see 100 women who develop breast cancer about 5 or 10% of them are likely to have a family history or somebody in their family who has been detected with this disease that means 90% of the women who who develop breast cancer have no family history all right so and the women who have a family history now we can actually do what is called as a genetic test to determine whether that particular woman has inherited a faulty gene which has been running in their family which has been running from one generation to another these tests are now very freely available in india these are um, very affordable also now and uh, all the women who uh, have a strong family history of breast cancer or ovarian cancer please get this genetic testing done be empowered by the knowledge of knowing whether you have inherited any abnormal gene because corrective action can be taken even before the cancer develops there are a lot of preventive um, or risk reducing techniques which can be used to, uh, for such women who have a strong family history and who are genetically tested to be positive 
and they can save themselves from this disease. I'm sure all of us have heard <clears throat> Angelina Jolie's story. Angelina Jolie had a very strong family history of breast and ovarian cancer. Um, so she herself got a genetic testing done and she, she, it was determined that she herself has the abnormal gene in her body and she had 85% risk of developing breast cancer in the future. And before breast cancer developed, she took the necessary actions and she's leading a normal life now. And all these facilities are easily available in our country and uh, also at an affordable cost. Can a blood test detect breast cancer? Oh, well, wow. So, <clears throat> yes, recently, very, very recently, there, has, there is a new test which has come up which can detect breast cancer at a very early stage in apparently women who are normal, who are not symptomatic. <clears throat> this is uh, a test uh, which is not completely available as yet, and I'm sure in the, in the coming days it will be made available it's a very new test where US FDA has, be, has approved this test where a woman uh, who wishes to get herself screening has to just undergo a blood test and it can detect whether the woman has breast cancer or not at a very, very early stage. How do doctors diagnose and treat breast cancer? So diagnosis is, again, like I said before, it is triple assessment. One is we examine the villain uh, thoroughly. Secondly, we do the imaging that is either a mammogram or an ultrasound or a breast MRI according to the age of the woman who comes to us. And third is by doing biopsy. So using all these three methods, uh, we arrive at a diagnosis and then the treatment is planned. <clears throat> plan breast cancer also all of breast cancer is not alike breast cancer has many many varieties so there is no one treatment which will fit all the women so we have to determine the course of the treatment considering a lot many factors like uh, the type of the breast cancer the woman has the stage of the disease the woman's age whether they have other comorbidities like any in heart problems or diabetes, hypertension, et cetera, et cetera. There are many things that we consider and we plan. But, but broadly to classify the, the type of treatment are surgery, chemotherapy, radiation therapy, hormone therapy, targeted therapy, immunotherapy. These are different modalities of treatment. It does not mean that a one particular woman will receive all of this treatment. Like I said, breast cancer has many varieties and we actually individualize or personalize the treatment according to the type of the disease that particular woman has. But in general, there's a lot of advancement that has happened in the field of oncology and especially breast oncology. That wonderful treatment is now available such that most of the patients do extremely well after breast cancer and normal life after breast cancer is a possibility. Should I see a genetic counselor for breast cancer? Well, if there is a strong family history or if there are indications which suggests that one lady needs to undergo the genetic testing, yes, taking counseling from a, a genetic counselor is very, very important. It's important to uh, take this counseling and understand what the genetic test means to you and be educated and then make an educated decision about what you want to do next if you are detected uh, what we call as BRCA positive or genetic test positive. In those cases, genetic counselor's role is extremely important. What is the HER2 status of cancer? Well, like I said, breast cancer has many varieties. Um, it, uh, once, once we remove the tumor or we do a biopsy of the tumor, we do certain tests on it along with uh, 
trying to determine whether it is cancerous or not. Once it is determined that it is cancerous, then we further do certain tests called as immunohistochemistry, where we do the estrogen receptor status, progesterone receptor status, and HER2 receptor status. HER2 receptor status, if it is positive, that means it is one kind of a cancer on which on the cancer cells have certain kind of receptors called as HER2. And in these kind of patients, a particular targeted injection is given if they have a HER2 positive disease. HER2 positive disease tends to be a little more aggressive, but at the same time, a targeted treatment is available where in these, um, you know, these targeted injections actually um, kill these cancer cells uh, who have the HER2 receptors on the cells of the cancer cells. Is it important to think about genetic testing? <clears throat> genetic testing is not meant for everybody. If there is a strong family history or if there is a woman who is young, less than 40 years of age and she has developed breast cancer or ovarian cancer, or if the woman has one particular kind of breast cancer called triple negative breast cancer, or in the family, if you have a strong family history, your mother or grandmother or aunt or grandmother's sisters or somebody close in your family who has developed this disease, or if there is uh, in your family a person, a male person who has developed breast cancer, or there is somebody who has developed breast cancer on both the sides, or um, breast and ovarian cancer, there are certain women who need to undergo this testing, not everybody. Thank you, ma'am. We are grateful for your time, suggestion, and valuable opinion during this session. We hope it makes a positive difference in this world. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for having me on this program. Thank you. Would you like to share a word of motivation for iChori team? Right. So a wonderful um, initiation. This is uh, where uh, you want to bring about awareness in uh, about this disease in, uh, um, in the women. So I would like to say that women take care of your health. There are certain small things that you need to do to take care of your health, eat right, exercise regularly, keep your body weight under control, breastfeed your babies for as long as possible, practice breast self-examination and get a mammogram test done regularly after the age of 40 years. And uh, thank you so much for having me in this program today. Is it important to think about genetic testing? <clears throat> genetic testing is not meant for everybody. If there is a strong family history or if there is a woman who is young, less than 40 years of age and she has developed breast cancer or ovarian cancer or if the woman has one particular kind of breast cancer called triple negative breast cancer or in the family, if you have a strong family history, your mother or grandmother or aunt or grandmother's sisters or somebody close in your family who has developed this disease, or if there is uh, in your family a person, a male person who has developed breast cancer, or there is somebody who has developed breast cancer on both the sides, or um, breast and ovarian cancer, there are certain women who need to undergo this testing, not everybody. 